Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Memo here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic Square MSB45 Ryu. This, of course, is their version of a G1 Autobot Ratchet. He is legend scale and he comes with a lot. In addition to the instruction manual and cards, you can see he comes with many, many accessories. So let's go ahead and get started. As you would expect, in the box he comes with some open fisted hands. He's got some happy hands, posing hands. He's got a set of pointing hands. He's got some what the hell did you and Spike do now bumblebee hands. He's got a welder that attaches to his forearm. He's got a cutter that attaches as a fist would. He has a blaster that is very similar to the one that came with Ironhide, which can store in alt mode. He comes with a secondary blaster that's longer, uh, more detailed, and looks like the one that came with a Masterpiece figure. He comes with the rocket unit that attaches to his back, this time with a red arm rather than gray, like with Ratchet. And as we saw before, the missile does detach. He comes with a pair of wrenches. These are kind of hit and miss with me. Uh, they don't fit into the hands very well, but you can lock them onto the fingers of the open fisted hands. He comes with a jetpack just like Ironhide, same mold, just done in white. And he comes with an extra face. He's got the emotionless and smiling faces. To swap out the face, it's very, very simple. Just use a spudger, tilt the head back, and pop it off. And bring in the other one, and it'll go on very, very easily. Just like that. So for this review, we're going to start things out a little differently. We started out in alt mode with Ironhide, so now, just to show the other transformation, we're going to start in alt mode. Uh, you get majority of the same. You, you have the blue metallic windows. You've got the red paint going down the sides. And then you have the red medical cross. And if, if you look closely, what's nice about the red medical cross is it's actually detailed in. It's not just simply painted. So it shows that it's not exactly the same mold. Much of the same as far as decor. You've got white plastic wheels are gray with rubber tires the front you've got the blue metallic along with the silver headlights and bumper obviously a a third party sticker same on this side uh, nothing different on the back you've got red tail lights instead of the orange like ironhide but again that blue metallic rear windshield and we'll put a image right here of the cartoon alt mode so that uh, we can compare, because I think they did nail the cartoon look for this. He does have the, the lights on the top, which do fold up and store in robot mode, which is nice. Just, uh, they do come off, so be prepared. It actually comes off during my transformation video, but it just simply slides back on with a peg. And there's a view from the bottom. Overall, I think a very, very nicely done alt mode.
let's take a look at his bot mode. Got the fantastic head sculpt, nice detail on the ears, uh, blue metallic eyes, gray face, and a black painted head crest. Can pivot all the way back, a little bit down, not much. Full rotation and very little but some attitude. You've got white detail on the shoulders, coming down to the arms. You've got the once again sculpted in red cross, which looks really nice. Metallic blue windshield looks amazing. You've got gray coming through on the lower part of the chest and the abdomen. A different crotch piece than Iron Hind, which is nice. Got some sculpted detail on the legs, the thighs. A little bit of minor detail on the side of the legs and on the inside. It's a little bit difficult to see because of the white, but it's there. Coming down to the feet. And there is the view from the back. It cleans up rather nicely. Shoulder articulation. Shoulders can go up to there if you utilize the transformation joint to there without utilizing it. You do get full rotation, upper bicep rotation, more than 90 on the elbows. Waist can do a full swivel as well as, and this is this is an issue for me, this peg right here does not want to stay in unless you really get it jammed in there. But anyhow, moving on. Uh, you do have ab crunch forward and back, which is really, really nice. Almost to 90 degrees. Thighs, they do utilize the same waist skirt, hip skirt that folds with the leg gives you a very good kick forward nothing back with the stand seems to be the standard business with magic square this is just a rigid hip skirt so back is limited but again that doesn't bother me i don't pose my figures with the, the legs all the way back once again you've got nice thigh rotation knees are double jointed can get you the full run and no up and down on the feet but you do get a very nice rocker so let's take a look at some comparisons Final thoughts. We'll come to the end. Let's wrap it up with uh, how we feel about this. It is a great figure. It really is. Uh, it's got some minor minor problems. Uh, mainly the the chest connecting to the, the torso, but that's just a minor inconvenience. The sculpting is very fitting for the G1 character, which suits my needs as a G1 collector. It definitely has wonderful sculpting and the detail that's there looks really really awesome the paint although there's just a little definitely adds some pop and i think magic square did an all-around good job i do highly recommend it again i picked mine up from the chosenprime.com i'll put a link to it down in the description below if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please share with your friends. I just broke 700, and I'm on my way to 1,000. See if you can possibly help me get there faster. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.